At Petaluma High's manufacturing technology program, there's literally a buzz being created. This is the place where Trojans gather to conduct a virtual heavy metal symphony of sights and sounds, all in the name of education. Meet teacher Dan Sunya, a Bay Area native who brings a distinguished 30-year career as a machinist to the table. Dan has transitioned to the classroom, bringing passion, including a wealth of experience and knowledge. His mission is to educate and prepare 21st century students for college and careers in the machinist industry. His excellent preparation for uh, post-secondary education in the forms of going to community college, universities, or entering a precision machining apprenticeship. Uh, I think there's wonderful career opportunities. The program's reputation is considered one of the finest in Northern California. The equipment and technology like these Haas CNC machines are first class. For some students, this class opens up their eyes to manufacturing and the endless possibilities. Everything is manufactured and everything is, it's, the simplest thing is has a complicated process of manufacturing and so you kind of develop more of an appreciation for how things are made. The Basin Street properties that they're building in uh, downtown Petaluma, I've actually lived a couple times and seen, well I can actually might be able to build that, you know. Petaluma High has created some innovative solutions in its curriculum by correlating its shop class with other academics. So if they take an engineering class, an AutoCAD class, an auto class, or a uh, woodshop class, they will get the English or the history class that goes with that. And what that enables the teacher to do in the, in the English class, for example, um, they can apply technical writing skills and teach those technical writing skills to those kids in the class. So by them doing that, when they're out here in the shops, then they're able to get more of the skills that they need to be more successful. Ultimately, the class helps prepare students for college courses like engineering and careers in manufacturing. With the aging industry population, the job market is wide open. This class prepares students to take those positions as machinists, as toolmakers, as leaders, as programmers. The manufacturing field is hot and its future even hotter. Jobs will be available. The lack of training in manufacturing has also prompted legendary American companies like Chevron to seek young talent. Just ask Walter Costa and Pat Scarpola, who know firsthand. It's very important for Chevron to get involved in a program like this because we are losing all the craft people. And like in 10 years from now, we hope that these young men or young women, they will come and uh, fill the gap. There's potential in this trade for a really good lifestyle, not to mention if you ever decide to move out of California, there's potential for jobs all over the United States, all over the world. And there's not a lot of professions that offer that. Earning $80,000 and up is possible depending upon your career path. In class, you certainly hit the books. However, it's the hands-on preparation that's paramount. Industry leaders say the experience the students receive gives them an advantage in the field. Both parents and students often do have questions about manufacturing careers. Meet Rich Dodell, who's also a Petaluma High parent. Rich, along with another expert, has some advice. If I have something to say to the, to the parents or even the students, you know, just look at machining and look at it from your creative side and say, wow, it would be great, great to take that piece of metal and be able to make anything I wanted out of it. I would put aside all the paradigms that we've achieved in this country about blue collar workers not being successful. Uh, this is a very strong trade. It has been for hundreds of years. People need to have parts produced. These students are the people that are going to produce them. Juniors and seniors can even obtain an industry-wide entry-level skills certificate called the National Institute of Metal Working Skills, or NIMS. After graduation, Petaluma High also offers a four-year apprenticeship program. The beautiful thing? Tuition is paid for by the employer. The apprenticeship has become an invaluable tool for one local Petaluma-based company, GCX. They are a medical mounting manufacturer. Right now, I, I employ seven people who are in that program, and they have X amount of hours that they have to fulfill 
in the working environment and they also have to fulfill in class. So you're getting that valuable working experience while you're in his program. In fact, two of SUNY's graduates are apprentices in the workforce locally. And just what would they tell students today? Uh, I'd tell them if you like working with your hands and making something complicated out of nothing or with all the detail, it's pretty fun and rewarding. Most kids my age don't have any idea what they're going to be doing for their living. I'm 18 and I already have a career set, so it's pretty good. The label Made in America is almost extinct thanks to outsourced labor. Keeping America's industry muscle flexed is a urgent matter. Experts like SUNY say our future depends on students carrying the manufacturing tradition. To sustain our way of life depends on the ability for education at this level to produce students and future workers that have the skills and ability and knowledge to move on to post-secondary education. This program not only changes lives, but it empowers young people to use their ingenuity to again say with pride, it's made in America. This program was funded by the good people from Chevron. The Petaluma High Manufacturing Technology Program would like to extend special gratitude to the Chevron Research Division in Richmond, California. For more information about the Manufacturing Technology Program at Petaluma High, you can contact Dan Sunya at the following email and phone number.